This is the Star Wars The Black Series from Star Wars The Clone Wars, The Bounty Hunter. Aura Sing. I picked it up at my local Toys R Us store for a whopping $32. Can you believe the inflation on Hasbro products nowadays? Let's get her out of packaging. Here is Aura Sing out of packaging, and it is a well-detailed, well-designed, well-sculpted figure. I'm actually surprised at how well this figure turned out. I was a big fan of the old 3.75 inch figure from the Clone Wars line. A couple of deal breakers for me on this figure, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let me just show off some of the details uh, with this figure. And first off, let's talk about this head sculpt. This is what sells this figure, I think. The photo reel sort of uh, paint apps and sculpt that they've done on, on, on this figure's head sculpt. Look at that. It's a shame that the hair cannot move uh, the original 3.75 inch toy had a swivel right here so the the reason for that is so you could get the hair out of the way when you're moving the neck but when you move the head here it kind of gets jammed up on her arms but it's okay speaking of that hair sculpt look how incredibly detailed it is they put some beads on it really nice they've made the antenna on her head a separate piece be careful you don't break that but again going back to this lovely head sculpt just wonderfully painted very nice. It breaks the monotony of her pasty skin. Look at that. It comes with a vest with some nice details on the back. Just great detailing on her pistol holsters. Look at that chain, the buckle. She does come with two of her blaster pistols. Kind of looks like the one that Hansel or Greedo had. I can't remember what the make of this pistol is. Uh, but yeah, they both fit on either hand and on the on on the holsters. She's got her, I guess, already iconic long range sniper rifle, which we originally saw in the Phantom Menace, and we get to see more of in the Clone Wars. It's a little dull gray, not dull, but it's it's this plain glossy gray plastic, which I wish they could have painted a gunmetal gray or put some more silver on it. Instead, they just put a little bit of this brown. I love the brown paint on the stock, but the gun just feels like it's unfinished and unpainted. They should have put a little bit more silver trim or gunmetal gray on it. I don't know, are were they going for accuracy? I, I thought the, her gun was a little bit more chromed out in silver in the movies and in the cartoons. She's got this strap that is removable. You can actually plug in the strap here. And this is actually one of the deal breakers for me. This strap is absolutely annoying. It's made of this soft, very soft PVC material. It doesn't stay on nicely. So chances are collectors are just gonna leave her and display her without the strap. You'll only need this as aesthetic uh, when she's, she's, she's got a rifle strapped on her back because as it is, it is, it is pretty annoying to keep on uh, the figure, I mean, soft PVC material for clapped clasps or hooks. This is this is just not doing it for me. I, I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it, actually. And then uh, some great detail. Very nice orange, vibrant jumpsuit. A little bit mismatched on the paint, on the plastic color. There's some parts that are lighter or more you know, muted than the rest. The uh, breast or the upper torso and the lower legs are actually bright vibrant tangerine orange while the the midsection and her thighs or hips i should say a little bit muted some inconsistencies here and there but that's fine very nice boots so nice yeah very plain but that's how she looked like the major deal breaker for me for this figure is actually the hip joints right here they've adapted that angled 45 degree peg uh, for ball joints which is what we saw with Ezra Bridger and Obi-Wan Kenobi, Kit Fisto, you name it. That's one of the biggest reasons why I've decided not to keep the Obi-Wan, the Jesus Obi-Wan and Kit Fisto and even Ezra Bridger simply because 
I'm not a fan of this peg. I mean, the sculpt is amazing, but that peg is a real deal breaker for me. I fear I'm just gonna, it's just gonna break off over time. I've heard horror stories about the, that peg breaking off and it's really not something I wanna keep in the long run. I'm hoping they can re-sculpt it in the future. Maybe five years down the line, they'll give us a better hip joint for Ezra and Obi-Wan and even this figure. But the fact that they've migrated it to this figure is is a shame. I wish they could have given her some regular uh, pegs like what they have with Padme or, I don't know, uh, Ahsoka. It's not that big of a deal. I, I don't know if the way the lower pelvis has been sculpted, if that's a, the main restriction for using that peg, but that is a downer for me. And sadly, it is a big deal breaker. And because of that, I'm probably not going to keep this figure. Uh, just a quick rundown on the articulation. She's got a double ball jointed neck, ball joint up here, ball joint down there, ball jointed upper torso, the uh, shoulders or the arms go in and out, forward and backward. Elbows have a 100 degree bend hinge that allows you 100 degree bend, swivel. Uh, the hips, as I already mentioned, diagonal ball joints. And it is a pain to pose because you feel that you're always gonna break it. So many things I really don't like about that joint. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and then uh, there is a calf swivel. I did discover that when I was posing the figure. The boot cut is actually on a swivel. Uh, the ankles are on hinges, are on hinges, and the rocker tilts. Some final thoughts on Aura Singh. Figure is going to get an eight out of 10 for me. Unfortunately, uh, despite being a well-sculpted, well-designed, very accurate uh, Black Series figure, those, uh, angled ball jointed hips and that annoying uh, rifle strap is really a deal breaker for me and it's not gonna get a perfect score because of that i can however say this if you are a big fan of the clone wars you love the cartoons and you're a big fan of these bounty hunters particularly aura singh this is an absolute must-have this is the best aura singh figure we've ever gotten from hasbro if you love the character she is definitely a keeper let me know in the comment section what you think of this black series aura sing hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews and if it's your first time here please subscribe thanks for watching